Now, here is a question most married people wouldn't jump to answer, I guess. Do you like your in-laws enough to visit them every week? Well, a new show is taking the idea when you marry someone, you marry their whole family and turning it into comedy gold. Joe Beth Williams and Kat Foster play mother and daughter in Your Family or Mine, and they both join me now. Ladies, thank you so much. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Tina. The story centers around you and your husband and I, your two kids. You guys live in Seattle, but I love one of the lines that your husband says, I can't believe we actually have a conversation on whose family is crazier as you're both kind of dressed <laughs> in costume on your way to a party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to my family's house. Yes. My family, my family, the Durnans, uh, my parents are played by Ed Begley Jr. and Cynthia Stevenson. We're sort of, you know, talk about anything, anytime, very, you know, liberal. We get in there, we talk about our feelings. Um, and my husband, played by Kyle Howard, his family uh, is the Weston family. And uh, my in-laws, his parents, are played by Joe Beth Williams and Richard Dreyfuss. Um, and they're much, they're much more uh, sort of uh, uh, conservative, snobby. snobby. <laughs> conservative, uh, yes. So, so there's um, a lot of contrast on the show. You know, aspiring to be uh, upper, upper class. In fact, we're sort of upper middle class, but uh, we consider their family bohemians, if you will. <laughs> and relatively, we are. <laughs> a, a little bit. And Joe Beth, I know we have seen you in, in roles uh, in the past, and you've always been, you know, the really nice and nurturing uh, mom. Your mom character here has a little bit of edge. Totally. That's one of the reasons that I fell in love with Ricky and wanted to play her, because I, she's so much fun, you know. I, I mean, I'm a, I am a mother of two sons. Uh, neither of whom are married, but both have girlfriends and have had girlfriends over the years. And, and I understand that, of course, you want the best for your kids. You want your sons to be with the right women. But Ricky takes it overboard. Ricky just <laughs> feels she knows everything. She knows better than her daughter-in-laws and her sons and her husband. And she wants them to behave the way she wants them to behave. And, uh, and they're never good enough, never good enough for her children. Well, and that's what I was going to ask. Is there any kind of uh, life imitating art? Is there any part of the show where you're thinking, yeah, this feels a little too real for me? <laughs> there are moments like that where, I, where I, I find myself going, gee, in real life, am I too much like her? <laughs> you know, am I too demanding? Am I too critical? Uh, but she's so much fun to play. And when she gets her comeuppance, of course, everybody loves that. You know? <laughs> they love to see the mighty fall. <laughs> well, Kat, I think any time you say in-laws in any show, comedy is definitely ready to ensue. It, it, and it's about kind of balancing uh, between the two families, right? Yes, 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 it is. I mean, what's so unique about the show is that we essentially have two entirely different casts. Um, one week, we're just at the West End residence, and then the next week, we're just at the Dernan residence. So, and, and like I said, there's such, such a diverse, uh, such diverse characters um, that, uh, that, yeah, we, we, you know, Oliver and I, that's Kyle's name on the show, my husband and I, are sort of like at the fulcrum point of this very uh, erratic seesaw that is our, uh, that is our in-laws. Well, um, like so, yeah, we sort of bring the balance. Well, with, like you said, such a dynamic cast and almost like two separate casts, I can't even imagine what it's like behind the scenes. I'm sure you guys are having a blast already. It really is a blast. It really is. It's such a fun, fun show to shoot. And um, the, the funnest episode was the final episode in the series finale, Both Families Come Together, which was just a blast. <laughs> I was really glad because, because I've known Ed Bagley for 30 years, and, and it was the first time in this series, in the show, that we got to work together because every week is separate. And so uh, we just had so much fun doing that last show, getting both families together, seeing the dynamic between all of the families. And then I find out that my younger son is dating her younger sister. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a big shock, and I'm disgusted. And uh, 
It's it's fun. Every we have an amazing, fun. amazing cast too. Uh, aside from obviously our esteemed parents on the show, we have Angela Kinsey from The Office, and Danny Comden, and Andy Lees, and Colette Wolf, and Stephanie Hunt, and Adrian Gonzalez, and just an awesome, awesome group of people. Very, very funny people, and amazing writers. Greg Malin's created the show, and uh, you know, is just a veteran of TV comedy writing and. Um, it makes for a really good time. Well, we cannot wait to see how this season premieres. Thank you both so much for joining me this morning. Our pleasure. And follow on Twitter because we'll be live tweeting. Absolutely. Your Family, Your Mind premieres tomorrow night on TBS. Don't go anywhere. Good Morning Blend will be right back.